So hi you guys, this is a start to the video. <laughs> hi. I am currently on my way to the doctors because today is the day of the glucose video so if you haven't seen my old one i'll try my best to link it down below but pretty much how the glucose screening test goes is they i guess is checking the baby's sugar level you have to drink this drink i definitely recommend taking the red drink and not the orange one because i hear that the orange one's bad i always had the red one and i can vouch that it's not really that bad um but generally, for my office, what they had me do is take it 30 minutes prior to my appointment and then tell them that, hey, I drank the drink 30 minutes ago and then um, I usually have to wait another 30 minutes just to compensate for time because time is precious because you have to take the test by one hour. So because of that and I can't eat, I got me a pumpkin spice blizzard from Dairy Queen. So I have 30 minutes to consume this. So I'm going to be eating and talking at the same time. Mm. I don't know why I got large though. Sometimes I'll be upgrading because it'd be like a 30 cent difference and I just like get more for my money. Outside of that, because I am having this, let me hair up eat this first so I'm not time sensitive because I do got like. 20 minutes to eat it and then I'll come back and talk to you guys. Alright. I just finished most of my Dairy Queen and now it's pretty much exactly time for me to get ready to drink this drink. Like I said I do have the uh, red glucose drink. Basically the test if I didn't really explain it in the first clip, it's the glucose tolerance test. And they want to see if it's at a certain level. It's probably really bad that I just actually had the ice cream. That's probably like really dumb of me. And I rarely do that. Because I just consume all that sugar. <laughs> and then going to take this. Lord, I might have to take the three hour test. Let's see how this goes if I pass. I passed with flying colors the first time. I was really not into anything sweet when I was pregnant with Nala. Now I have my moments and I've been doing really good by not really having that much sugar besides my little witch Welch's juice during work or whatever and lunch. But I just had all that ice cream. This was like the worst time to do this. Y'all, I might fail. But anyway, all that talking, you know the rules with this, drink it in five minutes. So, once I start drinking, I gotta keep drinking. So, it is 3.02. I got it to 3.07. So, and I'm kind of full too. I wasn't thinking, I was just hungry. This is pretty much how I remember it. It tastes like cheap children's juice. I remember when I drank this the last time talking a lot of crap about me driving. I have a bad habit of driving on my feet. I mean my knees. I ain't going to say it's a bad habit. I've just been doing it for a long time. I hope I don't throw this up because I'm cool. Uh, this reminds me of taking the mint white brew. No, this ain't bad though. And the baby is moving. This is going to be so hard. And I got a large too. I should have just got a small one. I feel like I want to throw up. It's 3.05 now. I'm halfway done. I got two minutes. My tongue red. I think I'll probably be red too. Larissa, you could do this. You could do this. Fair factor or something like that. 307 done. Y'all gonna have to get my life together, coop up. Let me come back to y'all because I gotta digest, I gotta pee, I gotta do a lot. <laughs> um, the day, and we're gonna have you come back in two weeks. We'll check your service again. We'll give you more drinks. If we can do it again when we come back. Okay, so. But do not enrich with so much carbohydrate. <laughs> I know. Before you drink that stuff, because your body can't handle it. I think I'd throw all that. Yeah. Stuff, right? because, because the drink is really sweet, right? 
Yeah, yeah. And you dumped it down on top of something that just, you know, so It was so. like I was full and I had a large. Yeah, I, I know exactly why you threw up. I, 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 I know you can tolerate it. Right? I know. And it's just you couldn't tolerate the drink with, with, with that for, for know. lunch, so to speak. No. Um, so next time you come in, just eat something light before you drink it, okay? And then we'll have you come in. Um, your cervix still looks okay. It's a little bit shorter than last time. The best image is after you avoided. We got about 3.2 centimeters, so that's still normal. Mm -hmm. um, how are you feeling? You feeling all right? Because around this time, you were already shortening your cervix last time, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you may start to show some evidence of shortening. We tend not to measure your cervix much beyond 28 weeks, mm -hmm. but if at some point it looks like it's getting too short, we would start that vaginal progesterone. Okay? Mm -hmm. But right now, with a cervix of 3.2 centimeters, you really don't require it, okay? Mm -hmm. And the good news for you is you still, with your short cervix, had a full-term baby last time. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the most important thing. So, But it still bears watching. Okay? Yeah. The baby moving around in there? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. a lot. That's good. Now, we normally check a blood iron level today. I'm not going to do that to you. We'll just stick you. We haven't drawn your blood today, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll just have you come back in two weeks, and we'll do it all then. Okay. okay. <laughs> Some of the measurements, it's interesting. At 20, you're 24 weeks, and I think four days, the baby measured 23 weeks and five days. So there's six days difference there. Yeah. Uh, so, so some of the numbers of percentages come out showing the baby to be small, but the baby's really only six days discrepant. So really overall, that's not really that important at this point. Oh, okay? yeah. So, yeah, I did hear it mentioned. The baby yeah, so she said the, you know, the head circumference, everything is within a week of where you're supposed to be in mm -hmm. an ultrasound. At this gestation, babies can measure you know, upwards of 12 days either side because mm -hmm. we're all different sizes, mm -hmm. so are fetuses. So really the baby's an okay size at this point. Okay. So you think the due date's still the same? Due date is still the same. Okay. It will not change. Really. Okay, cool. Our goal is to make sure your cervix behaves itself so that your due date still is basically what it's mm -hmm. So prenatal. Now normally we'd see most folks in four weeks from this visit. We're going to see you in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Check that cervix again and redo your diabetes test. Yeah, fine. Can you take her labs out? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We're, we're going to see her back in two weeks. And gonna, For a repeat, huh? We're going we're gonna to do a Don't uh, talk a about me. We're Don't do talk about me. We're going to do a replay. <laughs> okay. We're going to do a replay. But we won't do the... Yeah, we won't. But, but, I'll, I'll but, wait but until drive, after the... Drive past Dairy Queen. Yes, yeah. I'll drive past. It was close. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Good night. <laughs> you too. Yeah. All right, we about to drive. I'm about to go to McDonald's, though, because I'm hungry. But last time you seen me, your girl was full. We had a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. And I threw it all up. Like, I threw up. Like, I threw it up everything i threw up my lunch the drink i threw up my life i had went to mcdonald's right i went to try to use the bathroom because i'm like all this going on my stomach full let me just try to pee and get everything out that way so that i don't throw up see what had happened was i tried to get out the car and my body was like nope it's not happening it's not working out and i just threw everything up so your girl gotta redo the whole test so um in this video i'm gonna be talking a lot about like just giving you the whole rundown this is gonna be also my glucose slash pregnancy update but like i said i'm gonna go to mcdonald's and get some food then we're gonna kind of like do a mukbang driving update type of thing so i finally just got my food and i really see that it's getting dark and i don't want y'all to have to see this but i do want to explain uh everything that kind of happened today at the um doctor's appointment and then i'm probably gonna do the updates later or something like that because first of all this glare to my glasses are annoying I'll probably just add it tomorrow because y'all guys can't see me and when I get home I won't be able to do it because Nala will be getting ready for bed this is what's going on so I went to my doctor's appointment today I got my glucose which we know at this point was rescheduled so I get my cervix check and the girl is telling me you know to not pee or whatever because she needed to check my cervix length when they looked at my cervix it looked very still funneling there was like a little bubble 
So I don't know, it's a little weird. So my cervical length is 3.24. So it's still in normal range, but it did go down from 4.9. And before that it was like 4.1 and a little bit higher. It looks slightly open, like a hair. I know from history that the only thing they can do even if it got shoulder is progesterone at this point. So there's nothing they can do. Most that they could do is like steroid shots. That's everything in a nutshell. Baby looks good. I'm curious to see how far I'm gonna get with working. Cause right now I'm scheduled to work until February. I should talk about my appointment two weeks ago though. My appointment two weeks ago, this is my 22 week update it was kind of like the same thing at 22 weeks I was really emotional really frustrated because I didn't really like the reaction and response that I got to if my service got shorter so last two weeks my my service was like a 4.9 like I said now it's at 3.24 but same thing. My cervix was more closed last time though. It was a budget child. It looked normal. It was a little bit confusing because I was cramping a lot. But to see my cervix was chilling, happy but disappointed. Like I don't want nothing going on, but it was confusing based off of my symptoms. So today the baby weighed a pound seven ounces. Overall, I've been feeling like I've been getting emotional again i don't know why i feel like i'm getting very impatient very antsy in the last couple of weeks i don't know why i find myself getting mad at people for no reason i'm not going off on people or anything but i internalize it i internally here i'm mad at you that's a problem so there's other things I want to say, but I'm not really sure what this is looking like. So I don't want to say too much here and then have to throw it all out. So I wanted to really get out what happened today. So definitely love you guys. See you in the next clip. Hi, you guys. So I wanted to come to you really quickly to properly close out this video because I didn't actually record when I got back to the house after the whole glucose fail situation. So I wanted to come here and I was going to give an update, but honestly, when I look back at my notes, um, it wasn't really much to say. I was just mostly being very mm, in my feelings uh, those weeks that I was talking about. Just my whole doctor situation and the company that I'm going to and stuff like that. Uh, I am thinking about actually changing doctors to a closer one so I wouldn't have to drive so far. And I think that will uh, alleviate at least some of the pressure because I drive over an hour away to do that. And right now, like I told you, I wasn't having the patience then and I'm not having a lot of patience now, especially with my new work schedule. So, uh, yeah, like I said, there wasn't much going on outside of my emotions, but physically everything seemed fine. Outside of there was like a week during the 22 week that I was going through a lot of pain. I was going through a lot of what I felt like was contractions. Um, and I recall the doctor, the same doctor that was uh, speaking to me in this video, he was telling me that I wasn't experiencing contractions, which was making me feel a way because I don't like when people tell me how to feel. That's one of my pet peeves. And he was telling me how I felt and I don't like that. So uh, I don't know what was going on during that time, but I experienced uh, cramping for like an hour and they were like maybe 10 to 15 minutes apart and then it went away. And I, I think that happened twice during 
the 22 and 23 week time and then i haven't really experienced it since so um at the time of me recording this i'm a lot further than in this video but this video was lost footage and i didn't want it going to waste because as you know i had to have another glucose test and i just wanted to all compile it together so no footage get left behind <laughs> So, yeah, I just wanted to properly close out this video and say that. But I definitely love you guys, and we'll see each other in the next one. Bye.